que tiene tu César Chávez, que le has dado por la gente, que los que andan agachados ya levantaron la frente. I was very fortunate to have met and work with uh, Cesar Chavez while I lived in uh, El Paso. I met Cesar Chavez around 1972-73. Uh, there was a, a, an extended effort to unionize people in the Valley of Texas and in the Midwest and they would send uh, uh, org organizers to those areas and my house was through, through the union designated a safe house. In other words, uh, union members and organizers would stay at my house uh, as they traveled back and forth from um, California, Texas, and, and uh, the Midwest. Uh, also, when uh, Cesar Chavez would travel and go th either go through El Paso or stay in El Paso, I would also um, have to house Cesar, uh, provide uh, his diet, because he was in a very strict diet, and uh, provide security. There were uh, people that uh, hated what he was doing and hated what he represented. Uh, as we know, uh, Martin Luther King also had the problem of security, and so did Cesar. He, he risked his own life. He starved for every once in a while for other people. He fought for farmers' rights. We would um, boycott products that the union wanted us to boycott in order to um, exert their demands from the grower or the one maker, that, that type of thing. For example, we boycotted grapes for a long time until the workers won a, a contract for that. We boycotted gallo wine. Um, we boycotted uh, a lot of uh, products to, to get union contracts and concessions. We used to work, uh, we would tra be transported here to southern New Mexico to pick onions, to pick tomatoes, to uh, lettuce, uh, and a lot of areas there in El Paso County we picked cotton. And so I got to experience for firsthand the abuses that, that workers in the fields faced. Uh, we were supposed to get paid so much an hour and we ended up getting paid less than that, half of what we were supposed to get paid. Uh, plus we hardly ever got drinking water, uh, no bathroom breaks, uh, a very little time to eat. And uh, the, back then there was an effort to outlaw the, the short hole. Uh, which we call El Cortito, and the short hole um, uh, caused a lot of, uh, of physical problems because you had to work stooped over uh, to cut or to reduce the lettuce seedlings in the middle and just leave one in the middle. So you had to space it like 12 to 14 inches apart. And we did that for about four uh, eight, nine hours and got paid probably about 90 cents an hour. And you know that really led to you know people really recognizing the lower class. Something that doesn't get talked about a lot is nonviolence. Like Cesar Chavez was an incredible advocate for nonviolence. We need to work for others. That if somebody is hurting, somebody's being abused, and we don't do anything about it, then we are just as guilty and we are just as being abused as the one receiving the, the abuse and violence, then we have to do something to, to stop that, to end that, and to end misery and suffering. And that is what Remember Cesar Chavez is all about. Remember his legacy and remember his work. Nosotros sembramos, pues algo hay que cosechar.